Hey folks, welcome aboard the channel. Good morning. It's a Sunday morning when this is posting uh, for a specific reason. And Wade Bowen's song, Songs for My Mother. So I'm guessing that he just did this to honor his mother. She, she sounds like a spiritually minded woman. But it was a gift from Jason House who said this is a good one to do on a Sunday morning. So that's what I'm doing. So Jason, thank you for this gift for this song and i know this song ben sings my soul i haven't sung it in quite a while but i know it i used to be involved in like this christian ministry for oh boy in its different iterations for about 20 years very biblically oriented and every group says that they're biblically biblically oriented and they have different interpretations of the bible and we were no exception to that so um there was nothing uber special about us even though each group thinks they're special they're special just like everyone else so in any case and i don't care if people are atheists it does not faze me at all if somebody's nice i mean and a lot of the people who i agreed with back in the day doctrinally uh i wouldn't want to spend that time with at all they were just so obnoxious about it and uh, give me somebody give me an atheist who's kind and thoughtful i'd rather hang with them and so that's just my take. That's what I like and like people who are loving, who are kind, who are giving, who think, actually consider that they themselves might be wrong on things. Those are just easier people to be with. And so those are my proclivities. Anyway, that's my take on a Sunday morning. So let's see, Then Sings My Soul. I remember this was a very pretty song. All right, so here we go. See what Wade does with this song. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God disclosed. talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known he speaks and the sound of his voice Hush, they're singing, and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me. There's a lot going on in this song, and I think there's an organ underneath it at times. I think it's a mandolin going. It's in my right ear. You've got the bass that's going steadily, elongated, and the lead is, appears to be coming to my left ear, but the string instruments, there's a lot more going on, and then every so often a different percussive sound is being brought in. And there's more going on in it that I've yet to decipher or discern. The words are a little bit different. Not very. I mean, the bulk of the song is on point. But there are a couple of um, lyrics that I remember differently. But maybe that's just my memory. Stay in the garden with him Though the night around me be falling But 
Daddy bids me go through the voice of woe. His voice to me is calling, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me. I mean, I have so much familiarity with that. I also was in Israel for just about two weeks. This is going about 12 years ago, actually, where I got my Yerushalayim hat, Jerusalem hat. And it, you know, when he says in the garden, I think of the garden of Gethsemane. I was there. Uh, we were in the Mount of Olives. We took a very old, refurbished, wooden, very uh, gorgeous um boat on the Sea of Galilee. It's really a lake. It's not that big. I mean, you'd have a hard time swimming across it, but you could see basically the shoreline of the whole thing from almost any point on it. Uh, but it's a big, it's a big body of water. And I mean, it gets choppy. It even gets large waves on it and such. But all of that, my, my trip over there, I felt some of the deepest emotions I'd ever felt. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But a song like this, though, I just remember singing at camp and in Bible fellowships and and such. And it's a very comforting song. And the, the, the chorus that comes in where it's like, and he walks. And it just that has a very welcoming feel to it. It was interesting that it was deep, elongated. I'm pretty sure it was played on the bass notes that came in two and a half minutes into the song or so and i was surprised at that because in an uplifting song you normally don't have that but maybe those deep drawn out notes are meant to be like found a foundation to communicate a foundation and earlier in the song i thought i remembered hearing uh, an organ underneath it and that always gives you these I mean, for church goers anyway, I don't know about temple goers for Jewish brothers and sisters. If there's an organ that comes in that gets played there, that would give you the same sense. But I know like in church, you know, it's not uncommon for there to be an organ at some point. And especially the big churches, like you go to Riverside or St. John's in New York City and, you know, the, the instrumentation that they've got, e even in their secondary, like congregation areas, if you will they are still just absolutely mind-blowing acoustics and and such but it just gives this feeling of certain spirituality to it that um and that gets my philosophical sense going you know having been not only involved in in this and thinking about it and things that i formally accepted and now don't think merit but other things that do and so just finding my own particular brand of faith that's my own. It, it's a hell of a journey. It's a beautiful journey. Mom, I was thinking of you, Mama Kitty Loves Jesus, Phyllis, in this. And I was thinking of Penny, Carolina's beauty in this, because I know both of you are spiritually minded women. And this sort of stuff ministers to your heart and soul. And I love that. And uh, courtesy of Jason House. Let me see. What is it? Temple Har Shalom. I think it's like House of Peace. Because Shalom, Yerushalayim, is derivation, is God is our peace. Yah from the Hebrew. But all that said, it's a beautiful Sunday morning uh, or any day. For those who, are, who have a deep faith, this, I'm sure, is a very welcome addition to your week anytime you hear it. And I'm not rating it. I don't rate songs that are in honor of a faith or homages to particular people and such. But you can thank Jason for that. I do. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country and whatever your faith may be. Yeah.